Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. In one of my videos, I did something called Nailed It or Felled It and you guys said you wanted to see more of this on my channel. I'll be applying the Nailed It or Felled It theme to my reaction to other YouTubers trying out Morphe's new foundation. Now this foundation has been kind of controversial. Some people were saying, oh my God, it's great. And some people were like, girl. So as a woman of the chocolate community, to be honest with you guys, when I'm looking for um, foundation specifically that I want to buy, I of course gravitate towards influencers who have my skin tone or closer to my skin tone. And that's, I mean, for obvious reasons. But in this video, I will be fair and I will check out everyone's reviews. Not a lot of people review this product. I think because they sent like colossal amounts of makeup that they didn't want to send them to too many people or maybe some influencers just didn't get around to it yet but there's literally only like one two three four five six reviews on this foundation first review that i actually saw was from too much mouth i really like her channel she is dark skin she's gorgeous and she's always reviewing foundations she did a video stating that she will actually not be trying the foundation on and i was just like wait why not so basically she had a really bad reaction to the foundation and from that point she was just like i'm not trying this on so it's like Okay, there goes one dark skin girl. You can see some other things on my face though that I didn't, I didn't initially realize right away. I'm stuck looking at how this concealer looks on my face, and then I realize my face is itching, like itching, itching, wherever I put this concealer. So I was sitting in, you know, my makeup filming area while I was trying the concealer. So I get up and I go look in the mirror to see my face, and you know, I pop that picture back up here. I notice that there's little. This side. It was this side. So not only are there little bumps forming on her face from this concealer, but from the picture that she posted that I'll put up on the screen, that looks gray. Like if you look at her, you can see where her skin is and where the product is. That looks like super gray, green, ashy. And I believe one of the products was like green. That's just really weird to me. Like unless there are ogres running around, you do not need to create a green foundation. Like any Shreks and Fiona's up in here, I don't know. I've never seen them in person. That looks really great. Okay, so she didn't try it on. Um, so then I discovered, okay, where is she, where is she? Melanin Rich Najal. And I was just like, oh, oh, you Melanin Rich, 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 Rich. Girl, why are you so pretty? And her face is like a cookie. It's like so chunky and delicious looking. <laughs> Runny, but it also feels very lightweight so I don't feel like I'm wearing a whole bunch of foundation so I did go ahead and I swatched each of the foundations and I will have each of them listed so you guys can see what they're called or what the number is and so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys each of those and I just swatched them on my arm at the end of the video make sure you stay tuned because I am gonna show you guys what the foundation swatches look like once they're dry that way you guys can see what the finish looks like the fluidity line also comes with 31 different concealers and so there are six of them that go with level five and I did swatch each of these for you guys so I'll show you those as well there's also a white concealer that's included in this and this is to be used for a couple different reasons so if, if you are somebody with a really really pale complexion and this is something that you can use for a highlight then you can definitely do that as well but this can be used for brightening up an eyeshadow look if you're looking this is more of the concealer that I go to I would compare this to my makeup revolution probably like the C17 C16 of the makeup revolution makeup Re revolution is a really good concealer so she must really like it um, but yeah so the one that I'm wearing is 55 and I love it the concealers are long wearing so these are when you put these on you're gonna get full coverage with the concealer as well I love the concealer when I put this on when I tell you it's not going anywhere it is not going anywhere so I definitely love these these go for nine dollars so again super affordable I don't even know what she's talking about. Do y'all see her cheeks and dimples? Like, she's so cute. Okay, so that was a really good um, review. Like, she gave it like four stars. So she really liked the foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and subscribe to her channel. You know I support. So then I found Princess K's review. Well, it is your girl Katrina, also known as Princess K. And I'm I have a friend named Katrina too. I'm here <laughs> with a very exciting video. I'm so happy to announce that I'm going to be one of the beautiful faces representing Morphe's new fluidity foundation. Yes, girl, congrats. Get the check, get the bag, get your shmoney, sis. But I love the fact that she went into depth in her video. I'll put everyone's um, video link in the description box. But I love that she went into depth and really showed us swatches of the foundation. So let's look at the swatches. Which swatches 
that is representing more of like the warmer undertone so you're gonna have a lot of like golden you got some cool reds you have even like an olive green undertone in there you have your golden peaches you have your slightly peach you have your slightly reds and then when you get into the deeper shade you're gonna have a lot more red and warm undertones you're gonna have like golden neutrals you're gonna have golden reds you're gonna have rich peach undertones rich deep golden undertones so it, there's a lot mm. of undertones that you will see and i'm not gonna lie from her swatches that looks really good like first of all can we talk about how flawless shayla's skin is why is shayla goals I, I i just don't oh, Murphy, are you about to impress me with this foundation just tell me okay I'm not mad at this so far. That little bit just like covered my whole face, like completely covered it. I don't even see my blemishes. I have like, you know, some issues up in here. So far, so good. Okay, let's move on to the concealers because I feel like I'm just gonna stare at myself, like <laughs> trying to figure out if it's gonna change. Gonna get, if you have dry skin, you're gonna feel a little dry in this. Um, I Like right now, I feel like the foundation's so matte that my skin feels a little tight. It's like regardless of what your skin type is, even oily girls you don't want your face to feel like unless you're into like botox okay so she liked it but she feels like it's drying i think based on what everyone's saying that it's probably just gonna be way too dry but let's go on over to it turned green it turned gray it was really dry honestly i mean even though there are some good reviews on it i'm just get fancy my coins okay so video over Fenty launches tomorrow what's today it launches tomorrow girl just hold your coins for Fenty no shade no tea bye